In the long list of Apple's unreleased products, there's Apple's shocking invention, Apple Glasses. It looks to be augmented reality eyewear. In this video, we are going to be revealing the speculations and guesses we have heard on one of Apple's next big things. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to be the first to get a notification on our next video. This Apple's shocking invention may be called an Apple Glass. Though it's not the most electrifying name, it does make sense. Considering the Google Glass has effectively given this tech category a name, it is prudent for Apple to build on that recognition, rather than creating a completely new terminology. The Apple Glasses are speculated to be currently priced at $499, plus prescription fees. Now, that may seem low, especially compared to competing augmented reality headsets like the Microsoft HoloLens 2. HoloLens 2 is priced at $3,500, but a big part of its cost stems from the fact that all the electronics needed to run the AR experience are built into the headset. Apple Glass, rather, will rely on an accompanying iPhone for processing, so it will have significantly fewer parts and intricacies than HoloLens 2. It may more likely function as the Vuzix Blade Smart Glasses, which have a built-in camera and Alexa integration. And even at that, Vuzix Blade starts at $799. Apple's entry point is undeniably more accessible, costing as much as some of its top-spec smartwatches. The most current Apple Glass prototype reportedly looks like an unintimidating pair of plastic glasses, while marketing videos suggest a Clark Kent-like design. It has a LiDAR scanner on the right temple, but no other cameras, for privacy reasons. The glasses also come with a plastic stand with wireless chargers. Since it will be an accessory to the iPhone, it will be a little more seamless to use. Though the glasses won't be lightweight as your Ray-Ban aviators, they could be light enough and comfortable enough to work as everyday glasses. There are no plans for the first generation of Apple Glass to come in a tinted variety. For the near future, only your regular old sun blockers would be made available. But if Apple Glass takes off, perhaps the company would consider offering a variety. As for the Apple Glass displays, the headset may use Sony OLED displays for AR. There are no known specifications about the Apple Glass yet, but we can speculate based on what we know about the current tech. For example, it will at least have the same field of view, 52 degrees, and resolution, 47 ppi, as the HoloLens 2. If Apple aims to create a true augmented reality solution, rather than a heads-up display that shows 2D floating notifications or maps, like Google Glass, it's reasonable to expect the Apple Glasses to connect directly to the iPhone on a dedicated Wi-Fi connection. If the iPhone has to process all the video captured by the glasses' cameras and send back the 3D imagery to the glasses at a very high frame per second rate, a bare minimum of 60 Hz, with a 120 Hz refresh being optimal, it will require much higher bandwidth than what Bluetooth can provide. As for battery life, we can also expect a minimum of 3 hours if Apple wants to be competitive. Although we can assume that people will be more forgiving about this, especially if Apple provides some kind of wireless charging glasses case that can extend its operative time through the day like with the Apple AirPods. It is believed that the Apple Glass will be similar to the first Apple Watch, since the majority of processing will be done on the user's iPhone. It was also reported that there will be a display in both lenses, and most importantly, they won't be sunglasses. Supposedly, this is due to Apple not being able to get the display working properly with tinted lenses. Another interesting point is that there could well be no cameras mounted on the frames except the LiDAR sensor. The LiDAR sensor will be used to measure space and distances for AR, not for photography. This is a good move to avoid privacy and security concerns. It is also claimed that you'll be able to control the glasses with gestures, which will hopefully turn out less goofy than it sounds. Since the Apple Glass is being driven by your iPhone, most of the display settings will be contained there, and it'll just be a few basic tasks you'd move your hands for. Now, the leaked concept video showed the Apple Glass to be plastic, but was uncertain whether this was just a prototype device or not. 
there's still a strong possibility that the Apple Glass will be constructed from some type of metal. One of the things he was very clear on is the company is trying to make Apple Glass look as close to a regular pair of glasses as possible, not a piece from a Star Wars movie. Now, this one is tough to call. It was believed that Apple will announce its glass product as the one more thing part of its iPhone 12 launch. However, the global pandemic made that impossible. As of July 10, the information reported that Apple Glass lenses had passed the prototype stage and entered trial production, an important milestone in bringing Apple's wearable device to market. Still, this event was postulated to happen sometime in the fourth quarter of 2020 or the first quarter of 2021, depending on how the situation evolved in the coming months. But, from the look of events, they may potentially launch in the fourth quarter of 2021 or the first quarter of 2022. However, according to a report from Bloomberg, Apple Glass will be launched in 2023 at the earliest. So guys, what do you think of these new Apple Glasses? Yay or nay? Please drop your comments in the box below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel. Thank you.